I'm Marie Kang, and this is your No Excuse Core Workout. I'm going to take you through a routine that I've used several times, and I work on my transverse abdominals first, this is my deepest core muscle, then my obliques, my lower back, and then my rectus abdominis, the part that you see. So we're going to start off with the plank. Now the plank has three positions, level one, level two, and I'm going to get into level three. So go ahead and get into your position, and we're going to hold that for one minute. Keep your abs tight. Try not to lift your hips up too much or draw up your hips too low. Draw, imagine your belly button going towards the small of your back. And make sure that all your joints are aligned. You'll see that my elbows are right underneath my shoulders. Hold that. We're gonna keep on going. We've got 40 more seconds. You might feel a little bit of a shake if you do. You can pick your hip up a little bit. But what I want you to try to do is keep your back nice and neutral. Suck it in. We've got 20 more seconds. Good job. Awesome. This is actually my very first exercise I performed right after having a kid. And I can only do it for 20 seconds. That's how weak my core was. We're going to keep going for five, four, three, two, and relax. Woo. Go ahead and get into a child's pose. Now go ahead and watch me. We're going we're gonna to get into a side plank. Now a side plank is, you can have three levels. This is level one, level two, and then level three. So get into a side plank. Make sure all your joints are aligned. Pick up your hips, hold that, and then let's add some pulses. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hold, 10, hold that, for five, four, three, two, and relax. Go ahead and turn around. You may not be feeling this right now, but you're definitely gonna feel it tomorrow. This is gonna work your internal obliques. Sometimes I bring my arm up just like this to help stabilize me even more. Go ahead and bring that hip down and up for one, two, three, exhale, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, and hold, and relax. Whew, so we just worked our transverse abdominals, our internal obliques, and now we're gonna go onto the mat and work on that lower back. So go ahead and lay on your belly, pick up your legs and your arms at the same time. Make sure that your head is neutral. So you shouldn't be looking up like this, it should be nice and neutral with the ground, looking at the ground. Hold that. Now a lot of people don't focus on their lower back and it's actually a, a big reason why people don't really progress in their abdominal area because your core is not just your front, it's your back as well. Go ahead and bring it down and up. One, two, nice and controlled. Three, four, good job. Five, no bouncing. Six, seven, eight, nine, and then squeeze, squeeze for five, four, three, two, and whew. Go ahead and bring it down. Get into a child's pose. Take some pressure off that lower back. Now, this is our last exercise. And I guarantee you, if you do this at least three times, three times a week, you're gonna have a strong core section. So go ahead and lay on your back. Legs up the air. We're gonna work our upper, then our obliques, and then our lower. So go ahead and come up. One, two, exhale as you come up. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do 10 more. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, higher, four, three, Two, hold one, bicycle. Bring it side to side, put your elbow to your knee. Go, go. There's four, five, six, twist, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last ten, nine, pick it up. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Last exercise. Go ahead and bring your arms right underneath your lower back. Bring your legs down, exhale, bring it up for one. Pick up that hip. Two, three, 
two, we're working that lower abdominal area. Three, four, pick it up, five, six, exhale as you come up, seven, eight, nine, hold this, pulse it to the sky for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, hold one, bring it down, 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 give me three more. Three, always push yourself. Two, last one. One, bring it down for five, four, three, two, and... Oh my God. <laughs> Good job, we just did a full on core workout. And this is exactly what I've done for several years after having kids. So do this three times, three times a week, and you'll have a strong core section as well. Have a good day.